And I think she's going. Well, sort of. Just hasn't been ran in a while, I'm sure. Well, gosh, I hope you don't have to ride there the whole way. No, just until we get it in gear and get moving. Oh, okay. There she goes. Next up, Charleston. There she is. As of right now, it's I think pretty much slack tide. Tide's starting to come back in, but slowly. So, and they're motor sailing, I believe. It's such a beautiful boat. YouTube land we finally made it out into the ocean that's about as out as it gets So we're here in Charleston waiting for Mike and Joe to come back or come in anyways and um, I saw the sailboat about four miles off off the coast so here in about a half hour maybe 45 minutes we'll be seeing them. There they are. It's taken probably three hours longer than we estimated, but that's okay. Right, we are back at the marina because it was just too warm on that beach. And there they are. Finally made it. Very happy about that. Because she's still floating. Which is good. Very good.
There's Charleston Harbor. Bye. Bye. See you on Friday. See you later. Bye. Bye. Our first anchoring out. First evening anchored out. First evening. It's uh, 26 and a half feet here. 26 and a half feet. It's raining out there. It's uh, looking pretty, really pretty out tonight. Hopefully if it rains, it doesn't rain too hard. Good morning. This is our beautiful sunrise that we get to look at this morning on the river. I got the coffee tea. Keep hammering. We follow it all the way around. I'm trying to catch my sea legs. is a big boy. by that tugboat. Really, really fast. And it is about seven knots of wind, I would say, from the north. Coming in here to Charleston Marina at about 8.30 in the morning, almost 9 o'clock. So, Charleston Marina is Right then there, we are sailing. There's the bar. And Joe. So we're getting ready to move into our slip. It's uh, slip number, yeah, well, ha 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 ha. You thought I was gonna tell you, that's funny. Anyways, we're here at the Charleston Marina and we're getting ready to move into our slip and we will see you in a little bit. So here we are in the Charleston Marina. Being molested by Pitbull. In our dinghy, in the bay, as you can see. And like the front of the boat. <laughs> solar, like the front of the boat, right there. See, she's always looking for a place to lay down or someone to kiss. I, can't believe she I don't know if you can see them or not. But there are all kinds of little baby fishes in the water, about an inch and a half long or so. Lots of them. So there are all kinds of jellyfish in the water here. And some are small, and some are big. Interesting. And lots of baby crabs all over the place.
Oh, let me go put more water in. This is before, as you can see, floor is white. Well, sorta. Of. Back into the kitchen. And then when we're done, you will see the final product. All right, so we are installing. We've got the contact cement down, pulling off the backing there so that we can stick it to the floor. Gotta stick it to it. <laughs> And just like that, the floor has been laid. And it looks beauteous. Looks like I've done that before, huh? Right. Wow, she looks beautiful. Pushing out all the air bubbles now. Just giving it some impact. Try to make sure that I get the best contact out of it as I can, being a little piece in a seam. It's like the worst place. It's like the worst kind of fill you can do, but in the moment, I do believe this will suffice. So, I got it all clean in there, all the way up, woohoo, and now Joe's going to be measuring and cutting so that we can have flooring in the whole boat because, wow, this looks really good. Alright, contact cement. It's, this stuff is sort of like rubber cement, kind of like the stuff that we used in like grade school and stuff, but, gnarly. but way more gnarly because once this stuff is on, it's on. <laughs>
Got the flooring in. Yep. Underneath there. And on into the vapors. Yeah, that's a little bit of water that came through as I was washing the boat out today. Yeah, I, mis I miscalculated by just a tiny little bit back there. So we'll have to order another piece, but I believe I'm going to order a piece anyway for in here. Uh, onboard Lifestyle Sailing Channel. If you haven't checked them out on YouTube, you should go and subscribe. I have been watching them for about close to a year now. And it's a good channel. Well, SV Chaos here with SV yep. Onboard Lifestyle. Here we are. <laughs> yeah. And beautiful. Nor, well, I guess we're in southern central Oregon here. Yep. In Charleston Bay. Charleston Bay. Yep. Nice and calm in here. It's, it's beautiful here. Well, here we are in Charleston Harbor. Um, we've been here for about a month now or so. Um, it's, uh, it's been quite an experience. It's, it's fun. Uh, it's beautiful here. It really is. Um, people are nice. Um, the, I mean, just it's been great here. But it is time to leave. Um, it's time for us to head south, uh, making our way to San Diego, and then on to Mexico. Uh, oh, by the way, um, we are not virgins anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we, as you saw earlier, ran into SV Onboard Lifestyle. That is the first YouTube channel um, that we have run across since we have been on the boat. So, um, we said hellos, introduced... Um, chatted for a little while, and then they have things to do like everybody else, so we went on our way, and they're on theirs. They'll be here for a couple of days, and then they're going to be off on their adventure. So if you get a chance, get on over there and subscribe to their channel. Um, and if you haven't already, please subscribe mm -hmm. ours, um, hit the notification bell, that way when we put new videos out, you will be the first to see them. Um, well... I think that's it, babe. I think we're out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Next stop. Well. Hopefully yeah. San Diego. <laughs> I don't know exactly where the anchor's going to go down next, but stay tuned and you will find out. We will see. <laughs> Bye. Bye.